Hi everyone. So after waiting for years, iPad Air is here. No, not this one. This is my iPad Pro. This one. So let's quickly unbox it because I know you have seen a lot of unboxing. So I'm not going to waste your time. Eh, just. I know it's an Apple product, so I have to do it a bit better, but I know you guys are waiting for a very long time, even I am. It has not been easy to open this box. Let's quickly open this. Okay, let's just see because I've just seen this color in unboxing. Um, it's a very, very light blue. I understand why people are saying it's a pale blue, but it does look nice. It's not something that uh, you can differentiate from gray. It's not as appealing, but it does look okay. Let's keep it aside. Let's just see what do we have in here. A 20 watt charger, USB-C to USB-C cable. Don't want to waste time on that. Some paperwork and might be some stickers so just keep it aside let's talk about this nothing to see here we just turn it on and set it up i hope we do have some battery in here just gonna set this up quickly that's gonna work like that and it's going to set up automatically now. So the touch ID is here. Let me just set up it. I'm gonna see like how it's going to work. It's quite fast. Oh, just don't click it. Oh, every time I click it shows this capture all your fingerprint finally after 45 minutes it's set up so the problem is I was using 14.2 beta and uh, this was not on beta so it was very difficult to transfer data I tried it multiple times but didn't work so there was a backup for older iPad OS 14 and that's the setup which is here right now let's see after a while some apps are going so the setup is not completely same i have downloaded some application after that although you have seen it already but i am going to give you a physical overview so how these two looks let me just show you so this is the color difference i know it's it's quite subtle so if you like colors and if you want to try something else you can do that it's okay. It's not something I'm a huge fan of. I think I'm also liking the space gray. But yeah, having colors are always good. Also, let me just test this new touch ID. Okay. So I have to click this one and it's not bad. I think I didn't set up the Siri so I don't have to worry about removing my finger. So I've seen a lot of YouTuber, they need to do is like click and leave and hold. Even if I just click and hold, I'll still open because my Siri is not set up, I guess that's the reason. Yeah, so it was quite easy for me. But if you set up the Siri, so if you click and hold, it will open the Siri rather than coming to the home screen. So you have to think about that. Let me just compare the screens as well. By the way, I love Face ID when you have a keyboard because it's much convenient. You don't have to go for that. But uh, the Touch ID on this is good. I, I don't have any problem. It, look, it looks good. I thought I might miss Face ID, but I think it's okay. Don't have to look into it. Yeah, it's very fast, especially if you don't set up Siri. And I'm okay with that. That's okay. Uh, what can we try? Let's try Safari and open something and we'll see. 
I'm not doing a speed test right now that which website is going faster. I just want to see the difference between the 60 hertz. So when I was setting up the device, I wasn't noticing it. So I thought, I mean, the difference is not much. But when you're browsing the website, I think I can see it clearly. It's it's quite smooth on this as compared to because I'm using it side by side. That's why I'm able to notice the difference. But uh, if you haven't used a 120 hertz refresh rate, you might. Uh, guys, you are, also have to think about it. You are just thinking about right now that 120Hz is not important right now. But upcoming future, uh, you're going to use a lot of 120Hz high refresh rate devices even on your phone. If you have Android, you might be using it right now on iPhone. Maybe it's next year. I don't know. Then you might feel the difference and you feel that you're going to keep this iPad for 3-4 years. So you have to think about that. Just, just don't think about right now. So at that point of time, I think you might see the difference. So I downloaded Antutu and you have seen the Geekbench score a lot of time. I think you have also seen this. I just want to test like how graphic looks different when it's testing. That's the only thing I want to test. I'm not worried about the scores. Let's just open. Don't need to get the Let's start and see who will finish first. You can immediately see the quad speaker sound like it's just great but let me just turn it down i can see some some stutters here it's quite smooth i know this is not a real life test i just wanted to see how graphic performed i don't know whether you can see it because i'm not sure it's because of the 120 hertz The screen looks great on both, uh, that's not the thing, but uh, it, it's very smooth. I think the refresh rate is helping it a lot. So you can see some jitteriness when it's going up. It's very smooth. It's a bit ahead because it started early, but I think they're just catching up and uh, they went into another test almost equally. So let's see. I saw a frame drop on both of them. I think that's with the application. This is the first time I'm using this as well. So what I'm as, whatever I'm seeing, I'm just telling you right away. In terms of screen quality, they look exactly the same for me. I know it is 100 nit uh, brighter, but that's only work when you're outside and indoors. I don't think that's going to be a problem for anything. Here, I think the graphics looks a bit better on this for some reason. I don't know whether I'm seeing the sky difference. Also in RAM, this has the latest RAM, although it has six gigabyte of RAM, it has four, but uh, the, it is, I think, DDR5 and this is DDR4X. The reason I'm doing Antutu, it checks everything. Uh, on Geekbench, you have to do the CPU separately and then the metal score. And in this, I can actually see what's going on on the screen with the graphics and uh, the UX. CPU is something that I can't test, so it's just doing some multi-threading stuff. Yes, um, in multi-threading, it took the leap, so it's on 76% now. It, it is behind. It started early in everything, and the GPU and memory, everything was fast on this. So it finished first, and uh, that's amazing. I wasn't expecting it to finish early. Um, there's a huge difference in score i just want to see i think this is the only gpu part where it's leading because it has eight cores and it has four cores in memory even though it has 6 gb ram but uh, it has the latest ram so the scores are high and because of that us ux also is high still because of just gpu this ipad is way ahead and in finished much earlier as compared to this so that was ntutu benchmark I'll do a proper comparison later. I just wanted to test this thing. This is something I really wanted to see by myself and wanted to show you guys as well. Uh, let's do another test. I have my SSD here. So just want to see how the transfer speed is because it supports 10 gigabyte and 5 gigabyte. Let's see. And also I'll 
do some video editing on iMovie. I don't have Luma Fusion right now and it's going to take so much time to add those layers. So I'm just going to do stack two 4K videos and just see how much time they're going to take. I hope that gives you some idea because a lot of people are going to use this iMovie. It's free and you can do 4K editing on this. You don't have to purchase a separate software. Not everyone records in uh, logging and do color grading on their iPad. Some people do. I might be doing it very soon. So let me just copy it. So I'll copy these two files. This is 60 frames per second and this is the size is 2.254 GB and 2.75 GB. Let me just copy it. So I'm going to copy the file and turn on the stopwatch. We'll see how much time it's going to take. Paste this. I did click on paste. Shoot. So one, two, three, paste, play. Let's see how much time it's going to take now. It's a T5, so the writing and reading speed is approximately 500 Mbps. So I wasn't expecting that the speed is going to be different. It is taking some time, so the pop-up was not the problem. It still took 28 seconds, so copying the file is also a bit different. I was just copying two files of 2.4 and 2.0, so this was total 5 GB. So copying 5 GB in this was 21 point something seconds and this was 28 point something seconds. So you need to think about that if you're going to copy a lot of files in between. So the storage is getting full. Let me just show you the storage as well because that is going to be important as well. So iPad storage, I know I just copied some stuff, but uh, as you can see on my iPad, I have 5 GB, it has some files in deleted. So let's see, it's taking a lot of space. Apps are already taking some space here, Call of Duty is here, but my Call of Duty is taking 4.34 GB. So I don't know which application is taking more space. Maybe I might have deleted some application. So you need to make sure that 64 GB is enough because uh, the app sizes are getting bigger and the system update will get bigger every year with every new iPad OS. So make sure you don't put anything much on this device. So that's the storage difference. This is 128 GB and this is 64 GB. I might have a lot of stuff here. Still, I think the space is 30.6 GB and 25 GB is used. I have a lot of space on this iPad. Okay, now let's do the iMovie testing. I'll create a movie on both so that we can see. Let me just remove this. We don't need this. So quickly, I'm going to do a very simple test. I have copied a file in this iMovie. So I'll just do some editing and add some titles, do some color correction, and we'll see how much time they're going to export. So let me just do that and we'll get back. So as you can see, I've done some changes in here. Some has text file, some has video, and some I have done multiple changes. So they are quite similar. Let me just turn. This is the project. Let's share it. We'll see the settings. So this is 4K and this is just 30 frames per second file. Let me just click on this. We'll do the start and say file on both. We'll see how much time both going to take. It's been more than one minute and they are kind of neck to neck, but I can see uh, iPad Pro moving a bit ahead as compared to iPad Air. But we'll see in the end like which one takes the lead. So very simple test is a single file of 4K and I have done same things. But if you have multiple layers, uh, these multiple cores are going to come handy definitely if you're going to use Luma Fusion. But I just want to test the basic iMovie test. So let's see if the extra cores will help in this simple sort of editing or not. It is a very small file, it's a very small project, but if you work with bigger projects like like usually my A rolls and B rolls go over uh, 20 to 30 GB. So in that sort of thing, I think this is going to work very well for me because it's a small file and still it's ahead and it almost took five minutes. So exporting is very important and takes a lot of time. Even my Mac takes a lot of time because I don't have a dedicated GPU. Let's see 
yeah it's finished let me just pause sorry i need to lap right i'm not very good at this stuff so um it finished at 5 minute 41 second and uh, 6 minutes and 8 second for this so the time difference is 19 and 18 approximately 37 second difference so it's not a huge difference because the file size was just 2.75 gb but if the files and layers are going to be bigger this multi core is going to help you very well so for video editing i will definitely recommend this but i think i'll just finish that for this video because we have still a lot of things the apple pencil i have this magic keyboard i need to test with it i need to transfer the complete data from this ipad and use it for a while and tell you how the battery works so give me some time to do the complete testing this was just an overview like how what's the difference also do keep that in mind that uh, in most of the scenarios you might not miss the 120 hertz refresh rate but when you're scrolling browsing and think about the future that you're going to miss it after a while so please do take care of that but if the 64 gb is enough for you i think ipad air is a great value for money so if you like my video just like and share and do subscribe to my channel my name is rohit i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye